Thank you. Where are we going? Um, fishing! What are we going to catch? Guys, you ready? G'day guys and welcome back to another episode. We're out here fishing, me and the girls. I have quite a few guys asking me where I go to get snapper and what I'm using for bait and how deep. Well, here's the secret. Anywhere you bloody want. I'm right off Port Shore Island, right outside the cut. And we're gonna show you how easy it can be to get a feed of snapper. We've got our two pro fishermen, fisherwoman on the job. And I'm just here to help out when needed. These guys are going to do all the fishing. I'm just going to sit back and relax because I just got back from a hunting mission and I'm pretty bloody tired. So these guys are doing it all and they're going to have all the fun. So yeah, welcome back. Let's try and get into some snappers. And um, obviously, as usual, whoever gets the biggest fish wins. So I'm going to win. You're not fishing! <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, we just deploy the baits. We're using squid for bait, just gas station squid. And we've got a bit of a bearly bomb left over. So a uh, bit of bearly, bit of bait, and we're just going to see how we go. Good. Whoa, there oh, it is. There it is. What was it? Snapper. Kawai. Oh. Nice one. Fair wind, uh, mirror winding your line. This is a hard one, Daddy. Winding yours. Oh, I forgot the bucket. Oh, well. Nice yes. one. No, yet yeah, leave it there, just so it doesn't get tangled. Whoa. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Nope. First five minutes. Oh, that's a good car wire too. All right, move back a bit, because I'm going to throw him straight in the bin, because he's going to be my bait for the next fishing trip. All right, you move back. Yep. Wind it in. Yep, don't lift them out the water. Just hold them there. Yes! Nice one. Yay! High five. Hee hee! First fish. That's a massive kawaii. I don't want to. Flick the bail on. I don't, I really don't. I really, really don't want to. Okay, we'll, we'll lead him then, I'll bleed him. Okay, I'll bleed him then. Alright, first fish, how do you feel about that one, Farrah? Good. Big kawaii. Yep. Farrah's Fair. favourite fish, I was going to try to use it as bait, but I got told off. Which is pretty good, because kawaii is great eating, so a lot of you guys out there um, don't think it's good to eat. It bloody well is, and the kids will tell you that, it's good eating, eh? Yeah! Yeah, but I also really don't like buying bait, so bait fish is usually bait for me, so I do a bit of both, but definitely when the kids are on board, it's going on the table. Oh well, that would took about, um, that took two about minutes. two minutes, 30 seconds probably. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great. First fish, so yep, pretty good going, see what else we can get. Oh, I'm getting bites. I'm getting yeah, you could have taken your bait, check your bait. Stop. Yep. Yeah, put it in the rod holder. Yep. And then cast the let the bail arm off. 
a bit. So you can have, yeah, there you go. And then you put your sinker on here. And then you can put your bait on your hooks. We're not going to be doing a catch and cook on this one because we've already done the catching and the cooking on a previous non-recorded episode. And we got a snapper fish pie for dindins. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be cooking any of this food tonight um, because we've already done that. We are prepared. Fish pie for dinner. And we'll catch some more fish to make another fish pie another time. Yep. Yeah. The fair has got another car wire, I think. Yep. Perfect. Bring that in, that's going on as a live bait. I think Amira's got another little car wire. Yep, she does. Little school of car wire behind us. Must be. It is. Bring it in. What do you want to do with this one here? Um, see it go. See it go? It's too tiny. Okay. Good choice. Good decision. Fish that we're letting go, we're handling with a wet rag, so they've got a good chance of survival. Off he goes. Fishing pretty shallow here, like eight meters or so, maybe even less. So um, anything we do catch, got a good chance of survival if we release it, which is pretty damn good. Whoa, get those hooks out of my face. You got a fish on? Yeah, hold it up here. Yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah, Amira's got a fish on. <laughs> Remember, pull up, wind down. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> right, you nearly there. What is it? Shark? I hope it's not a shark. It doesn't fight like a shark, it fights like a snapper. <laughs> pull up, pull up, wind down. You gotta wind, otherwise you're not gonna yep, that's the one. Here it is. What is that? It's a snapper. How big? Um Oh it's a keeper. There's a good little penny there. One that fits in a pan. Beautiful snapper. Nice one, Amir. What do you got there? Snapper! Nice one. Going in the bin. There you go. Told you, you don't need to go far to get a feed around here. And these are perfect eating size, actually. In the bin. Nice. Hey, what do you got there? Kawa. Nice biggie. Nice one. All right, check them in the bin. Sorry, I got blood on your seat. It's all right. Here you go. Wash your hands and then dry them with that. All right, Farrah's in. She's got a fish. I'm getting bites. Bring it around your side of the boat, Farrah. What do you got? It's a snapper. Oh, Amira, I got a fish on. Take the rod. Take my rod. All right. Yeah, it is a penny. Snapper and back in the drink. Bring it up. Off it goes. Alright, Farrah's onto a biggie. Just be gentle with it, just be gentle with it. Lift up, wind down. It's not a race. Lift up, wind down. Yep. No, you'll be okay. 
Wind. Yep. When it's taking line, you can't do anything about it. Just lift up gently, wind down. Ferro's got a good fish here. Ferro's got a real good fish here. I don't know what it is. It's running. It's uh, maybe another big kahawai. Potentially a trevally. We'll see. Hopefully if we find it, if we get it up. But it's running horizontally. I'd say it's actually a kahawai. I'd say kahawai. I don't know what else. You don't know? Well, I think it be a just take your time, lift up, wind down. Remember the fish is going to get tired before you. So you just take your time, lift up, wind down. Big fish take long with a rear leg because you've got to tie them out. Still can't see anything. But it's on the it's on the it's right on the surface up way back there somewhere so I'd say it's a kahawai. Potentially a snapper actually. I have no idea. Amira you got a fish on? Amira's got a fish on too. Chaos. I'm gonna have to I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to wind this in. Fair's still going, I don't know what she's got, but whatever it is, it's pretty big. Maybe it's a real big shark. I hope it's not a shark. Look on the good side, I'm fishing. Could be a kingfish. <gasps> Whoa! Who knows? A kingfish? It's probably a kahawai or a trevally. Or a kingfish? Or a real good snapper. Or a kingfish? I hope it's a kingfish. I think it's a snapper. It's a snapper. I just saw it. Okay, bring it around your side, Farah. Bring it around your side. It's a biggie. Farah just caught a stonk. Lift up, wind down. Right, bring around the side of the boat. I can see colour. Oh, that's a good fish, man. I think I won. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Right, open the bin up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring it in. Bring it over here. Oh, that's a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> nice one! <laughs> oh, that is an absolute ripper fish, man! <laughs> Ow, that hurts my ears! <laughs> nice! Well done, Farrah! Right, Farrah wins the... She's got the trophy fish of the night! That is a stonker! Well done, man! All right, I'm just going to icky this fish and then we're going to get some photos of this because that's a good fish. How's that feel, Farrah? Good. That's a stonker, man. <laughs> You're right. What happened? Uh, um, so I, I was going to eat some food and then I was still having my hand on the rod and then it did this massive pull and then <laughs> noise and then I was like, I've got a fish! And it was, must have been so far away. <laughs> <laughs> and it took so long to bring in. Oh, that's such a good fish, man. So that is such a good fish. So good. <laughs> so good, eh? <laughs> All right, chuck okay, him in the bin. He's getting real heavy. He's a good fish, that's why. Absolute ripper. Oh, how much? Wait, that? 
Yeah, last baits, and then we'll get going, we'll get out of here, eh? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, fair could a stonker. GoPro's about to die, and because um, I didn't charge it, I was out hunting, and yeah, it's a bit of a last minute mission, but seems there's so many of you guys asking, where do you get snapper? Where are you going? How deep are you going? Well, right here. No secret spot, straight out the cut. Obviously anchoring up, oh, I'm here, onto a fish. Obviously anchoring up and out of the channel, out of the shipping channel, you can't anchor up in the channel, so make sure you're out of the channel before you drop the anchor, otherwise you're just gonna cause an accident, be it a muppet. It just proves the theory that you really can't go wrong in Tasman Bay this time of year. Um, I think the best thing you can do, is don't worry about tides or location, whatever, best thing you can do is time of day, early morning and late evening. Um, which is why this time of year is great because you don't have the afternoon breeze so much. We do a bit today, but it's just because it got so hot. And that's all you need to do. And you're going to catch big fish. We made a good bit of progress today. We got a couple of little panties, you know, 35 centimeters, sort of 30 centimeters. And then Farrah got a, a stonker. Like, I don't know, we didn't measure it. We should. I don't know. I reckon it's like full size. Probably 50 centimeter which is a pretty darn good fish considering we've burnt like one liter of fuel to get out here. 50 centimeters, that's 40. So 50 is about there. We'll measure it soon. But that's probably the best uh, snapper Ferris caught. And we just deployed last bait, so I'm getting chilly. And um, then we'll get out of here, right? Eh? What a beautiful sunset. Absolute beautiful evening. All right. Let's get out of here. Job done. Job done. You got some food? Yeah. Nice. That's what a beautiful sunset, man. Due for some rain in the next few days, finally. So I'll probably head out for another hunting mission in a week or two and try and get the girls out actually. I'm gonna go for a, a meat gathering mission. I'm not chasing any stinky stags or anything, but just get a few hinds on the deck and uh, stock up the freezer for winter. Probably finish this video here actually before I get in, because I'm not gonna film an outro tonight and we're not gonna cook up a feed, so. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this one. As a, you know, the whole point of this video, show you how easy it can be to get a feeder snapper. You don't need any secret spots. You don't need my spots. Just go out there, choose a spot, barely up in the evening or early morning, and you will catch a feed um, for the next four weeks at least. So um, yeah, stop messaging me about my spots. Get out there and catch a feed yourself. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. Um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll get into some more missions sooner or later. pretty bloody average. I've just been out in the hills for the last two days chasing deer and I didn't want to do anything so kids got it out of me to take them out for an easy fish and I feel so much better for it. Just goes to show um, you'll never have a good time if you sit there feeling sorry for yourself. Get out there and get amongst it. Super easy and I feel refreshed. Stoked. <laughs> oh, there's the Ocarino. Yeah. That boat there? Yeah. That one? Yeah. I worked on that boat. I lived on that boat for a week. Whoa. Yep. Whoa! Yeah. The old Ocarino. Chris West. I don't know if you ever watch these videos, mate, but if you do, hope you're well. Lived on that boat for about a, uh, 10 days, actually, doing a scallop survey across the top of the South Island. He's a good bastard. <laughs>